Right, okay. Uh, what we're going to look at today is um, one of these, a LED floodlight. So this is part of the um, uh, lighting the garden project. Uh, obviously we'll try and do that all from our kind of smartphone or um, web page. Uh, but one of the ways of lighting them is by these LED floodlights. So we'll have a look at what's inside and uh, see what we can do. Now, um, here we are, there's the package, not a lot in it, uh, apart from this, which is the floodlight itself. So these uh, run off 240 volts, or 230 volts, um, but of course they uh, just have an LED inside there. And you can see, there it is, that's the LED. Um, and if you look really closely, um, yeah, if you look really, really closely, maybe you can't see it, but there's actually an array of three times three LEDs there. Um, very small things, so all about just over one watt each. Um, so nine of them is roughly 10 watts of LED power. Now um, this is a white LED or uh, it's meant to be um, a soft, uh, sorry, a warm white. Um, but these cost about six pounds or six dollars, roughly a bit more maybe. Um, on eBay, um, but they, if you want one with a green light uh, or green LED or a red LED, they cost significantly more. So they cost about another twenty pounds. So that seems a little excessive when um, uh, essentially all you're doing is replacing the LED in there with one of these, which is um, this is a red LED and this is a green LED, um, and these cost about a pound or a dollar on eBay. So quite where the extra £20 comes from, from switching out the LED, um, we're not quite sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can, first of all, wire this up, uh, see what it looks like, and then um, see if we can replace the LED with a red or a green one um, in order to uh, basically save £20. So the um, first thing we'll do is we'll wire it up. Now, there you are some really strange uh yeah that that is odd isn't it i mean what do you do with that i mean that's that's that is non-standard isn't it so um i assume red is positive um brown is a uh, brown is neutral and um yellow which uh let's hope that's earth um yeah so that's the first thing to notice first of all i think um i think uh, every electronic item or 230 volt item has to be supplied with a plug I think that's correct, I'm not entirely sure. So as you can see this uh, isn't supplied with the plug and isn't supplied with any sort of EU wiring whatsoever. I mean you could understand the red and black from you know 20 years ago but just yellow for earth, you know obviously it should be yellow and uh, yellow and green. Um, well we'll see. So you know that's the first sign that um, maybe these aren't the most compliant. CROHS, don't chuck it in the bin from Shenzhen Guanxi Zhi Electronics Company, um, GZSJ TG1. So quite how it's got the CE markings, I don't know. But what we're going to do eventually is power it all off 12 volts, but what we'll do is just see if we can run it off 230 volts. So the first thing to do is to put a plug on it. Probably should put a 3 amp fuse in, this is a 5 amp, should be alright. Um, the first thing to note, just to check, is we haven't got a DC version, so that no, this is Definitely the right one, so input voltage 90 to 240 volts. So <sighs> let's wire it up and see what happens. Okay, let's take our life into our hands here and see what happens when we turn it on. All right. Just touch the plastic for now, I think. All right, okay. Yep, fine. We're not dead. Um, so there we are, quite a nice light. Um, yeah, all very nice. Lights up, 10 watts of LED power. So this is the, um, well, it's meant to be the warm white color. It looks fairly warm and it looks fairly white. So um, that's good. Now what we'll see is whether we can take it apart and um, swap out the uh, LED for one of these. Let's try the green one. Let's light some trees. Right, okay, so 
So it's uh, attached by four of these uh, screws here. Let's see if we can undo these. Okay, quite how waterproof this is, I I don't know. It's meant to be IP6, IP, look at the packet, IP65, there you go, which basically means it's um, very waterproof. Let's see, see whether it is. Okay, this screw, oh yeah, is working. Took, took a bit of uh, encouragement. Right, okay, let's see what we've got. Four little screws holding it together. All right, okay, got a red wire and black wire. Actually, that's not uh, not too discouraging. They're quite uh, quite thick wires. Well, I assume they are, and a uh, little LED power supply. Oh yes, look at that! Isn't that isn't that great? Look at that! If you um, if you see there, that is the earth wire, which um, doesn't appear to be attached to anything. So yeah, uh, that's very bad and uh, fairly dangerous because of course this is a metal case. And we would hope that um, these were earthed, the case was earthed. So that LED power supply, uh, what does it say? Model ZY0812, AC 0.3 amps. So, uh, yep, that's meant to supply 8 to 12 times 1 watt. Uh, okay, the output is bluish black and reddish brown. There you are, positive and negative. Um, DC to 300 milliamps, roughly 300 milliamps, DC 42 volts. Okay, 42 volts out. I assumed they'd be 12 volt, but um, there we are. Okay, so yeah, this is dangerous. Uh, let's see what's in here. So this is the... Okay, so it's, you know, it's got some element of seal there. Uh, which is, you know, better than nothing. And these are the screws that hold it together. Okay, so I mean, I bought these, you know, to, to run off 12 volts. So, you know, I'm not too concerned about the um, fact that it's dangerous. But, uh, you know, if you were to plug these in all innocently, that wouldn't be so good. Right. Okay, so we've got four. Screws holding in the um, the LED, I think. Oh no, no, we've got something else. Oh right, okay. So how do we get to it? Okay, so that's the back. That's a heat sink. Yeah, okay, so that's all good. So I don't quite know what this does. Um, don't know. Well, let's just put that down there for the time being and take off the front. Place just so we don't mess them all up. So yeah, I mean it's not too bad. They have tried to seal water getting in there, so yeah, it's better than better than it could be. Let's just put two of these back for the time being. Um, okay, so we seem to be able to get to them from the front, let's undo these, okay, screw number one, two, Ooh. 
Right, uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got a seal there. It's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, so that goes that way. So a bit of glass, reasonably thick glass, and a uh, waterproof seal. And here we go. Let's get into the uh, brains of the operation. Even smaller screws. Quite interesting, using different sized screws. You think they'd just be able to use one, but they will. Obviously, a precision, uh, precision bit of a kit. Yeah. yeah. self-tapping screws by the look of it. Oops. Okay. Oh dear. Right, resort to the pliers. metal so there you go right okay so there we are ah, we have uh, LED uh, exposed and you can see it's probably just a straight swap one for the other so let's have a go with some more screws Now, LEDs produce a reasonable amount of heat, so there's a heat sink on the back, but um, you know, I hope it was stuck down with some sort of thermal compound. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go, some on the back there. Right, so we've got positive and negative. I assume red is positive, black is negative, you can never tell. And these have been soldered on, so uh, we need to get the soldering iron out and uh, undo the connectors. Right, let's see if we can desolder the existing connections and solder the new ones. So there we go, positive on the left. I think it's been melting away. Uh, uh, yeah. Positive on the left and uh, negative on the right. Okay, so that's uh, the same thing. And let's see if we can. So, negative. All right. Okay. So let's uh, solder in the new one. All right. So that's a negative on the right there. Let's see if we can solder it on. And positive on the left. Right, so that hopefully is connected and uh, we need to put some more um, 
thermal paste or thermal compound under, but we'll do that in a few minutes just after we've seen if it works. Right, so let's screw it back down. This also helps get the um, thermal contact with the uh, plate as well, screwing them there. Okay, now uh, hopefully this should uh, work if we plug it in. So let's get the old uh, power supply up. Uh, now, seeing it's not earthed, I don't really want to go anywhere near it, but um, let's see what happens when we do indeed plug it in. Oh, we get a flashing green light, which is very exciting. No idea why that's happening, but there we go. Let's see what's causing that. Right, uh, okay, so the green one flashes, so let's see if we can actually um, change it with the red LED and see if we have the same um, issues. Let's just unsolder the, uh, the wires. Right, and this is the red LED. So, um, negative is this end, and positive is this end. So, let's just put it in here for the time being. Put some uh, solder on. So, I'm not quite sure why we're getting the flashing, uh, but we'll see if we can rule out the LED. Right, there's our red LED in place. Let's power that one up and see what happens. Obviously it uh, should really be stuck down to dissipate the heat. So let's uh, hold it down while we're doing that. Okay, we get the same flashing, the red. That's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, LED flash. Right, what's going on? And just for sanity's sake, let's uh, go back to the white LED and see if we get the same issue. Uh, let's remove the green one, sorry, the uh, red one. And solder back the uh, the white LED. So positive on this side. Negative on this side. Right, so 
that was working when we got the unit so let's see if it works when we plug it back in so let's plug it back into the mains and there we have it solid light so what's happening well obviously this um, uh, something to do with the currents in the LEDs perhaps um, let's try it with a, another LED driver so this is one we have lying around and see if that makes any difference right okay so we've um, wired up a um, LED driver a 12 volt uh, 1 amp so um, 10 watt 12 watt um, uh, DC source. So let's see what happens when we apply this to our LEDs that we have. Let's try the red one first. Now I'd assume these were all 12 volt um, LEDs so these certainly sold as 12 volt ones so let's see if we get... yep so there we are so it's not the LEDs fault so that's quite happy throwing out uh, quite a nice colour. Um, and then the green one let's see what we get with this quite bright so um, there we are solid green and finally the um, one we got with the uh, with the um, floodlight so uh, here we go so this is um, this will be interesting so nothing okay so that's interesting so obviously this is being sold with a um, uh, with a LED which is um, not 12 volts so that's kind of interesting. So if we did want to change this for a different coloured LED in the uh, in the spotlight, we would have to uh, change the LED driver. So the LED driver uh, supplied with the floodlight is actually saying it's 42 volts. So let's go back to powering it with, with that. So it's quite bright. So um, what we can do instead is to measure the voltage that is actually being sent over the um, between the the contacts so let's see what we get um, okay so let's measure the voltage actually between the terminals so nothing at the moment how much was when we turn this on uh, no uh, 29 uh, volts, yeah, 29 volts. Do you see that there? Uh, which is not uh, the advertised 42 volts. So I have no idea what's going on there. Um, but anyway, the long and the short of it is we need a new LED driver, which is 12 volts, if we want to run these replacement cheap LEDs. But it's quite interesting though that um, they have the same form factor, they look as though they're exactly the same LEDs. But uh, the white one um, requires 29 volts, which I suppose is roughly 10, uh, 10 volts times 3. So maybe it's uh, an RGB thing. Um, but certainly we'll have to change the uh, LED driver. And obviously it has to be quite a small one to fit in the, uh, in the case um, to a 12 volt LED driver to run these two chips. But anyway... Uh, we shall persevere with that and uh, see what happens in the next video, in another video.